I'm Miss Kathy, nature detective, and I'm here with my favorite scavenger, Chester the Opossum, and we are ready for today's scavenger hunt. Let's look at the riddle and see what we will be looking for today. Ready, Chester? Wanna help me out? I'm a tall tree with really cool fruit. The fruit, it hangs by my powerful roots. I can only be pollinated by bats and bees. If I were in Africa, the hippos would eat me. Who could I be? Hmm, what do you think we'll be looking for today? Chester, do you have any ideas? Well, nature detectives at home, get out your binoculars and let's start exploring. I came to our bee box to ask the bees if they know what kind of tree they would pollinate in Africa. What do you think, bees? Where should I be looking? Go ask the African spur tortoise. They're from Africa. Great idea. Let's go ask the African spur tortoises. Come on, everyone. Hi, Arietta. We're back to ask you for help for another riddle. This is a tree that is native to Africa. We know the African spur tortoise is originally from Africa. Do you think you might be able to help us with the riddle? Any ideas? I said check out the African sausage tree. There it is. Let's go check out the African sausage tree. Thank you, Arietta. We found the sausage tree. The tree is deciduous and originally from West and Central Africa, where it's found both in wet areas along streams and rivers and open woodland areas. It's helpful for erosion control and riverbank stabilization when located along waterways. In their native habitats, the flowers of the trees are predominantly pollinated by nectar bats, as the flower is usually open in the evening. However, the flowers are, can also be pollinated by insects and sunbirds in those habitats. If you look, you can see how the fruit is hanging from the tree. Now mammals such as bush pigs, baboons, porcupines, monkeys, elephants, giraffes, and hippopotamus eat the seeds, but people cannot eat the ripe fruit as it is poisonous though slices of baked fruit are added to beer to help with the fermentation process. And in times of famine, the seeds are roasted and eaten. The sausage tree has a multitude of medical uses in Africa, such as treating skin ailments like boils, fungal infections, acne, wounds, ringworm, and treating also internal uh, conditions such as tapeworm, dysentery, diabetes, kidney ailments, and pneumonia. All parts of the tree have medicinal value. A potential side effect of the fruit is that it can cause the tongue and skin to blister. The timber is also used to make canoes and oars, planks, boxes, drums, tool handles, bowls, and weapon bows and fences. It's a pretty amazing tree, isn't it? With this giant, heavy fruit. I hope you all enjoyed learning about the sausage tree today. Now it's time for Crafts with Cats, starring Grey Ghost. But instead of putting a sausage tree in our diorama, because that is exotic to the Everglades, we are going to put in a bee box, just like one that we saw today, because bees are so important for our environment. You can go on to flamingogardens.org, click on the education tab for scavenger hunt so you can download the template. Where you see the broken lines, that is where you are going to fold the box. So you're gonna wanna cut out the template and fold along the dotted lines so that you get a little bee box. You can also add little bees that stickers or ones that you've drawn to your bee box. Then we are going to put it in our diorama. We will put it right over here up front on one of our hamacas. And remember, you can visit us at flamingogardens.org. Just click on the education tab for a scavenger hunt. And then you can also visit us at YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. 
Hope you had fun today and we can't wait to see you soon.